dominant in every single esport. Dio's the best team in North America. GG! Liquid has done it! Your next grand finalist is Team Liquid. This is Level Up, driven by Honda. Tie the record! It's three LCS titles in a row! How are you guys going to stay on that right path to hopefully demolish their MSI? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that was the deal we made. He would carry me in NA and I would carry him internationally. Can you solo dragon Peter or do you have to go down? I can, no I can, I can solo drag. I, I need yeah. lifted. Okay. This is sneaky, sneaky dragon. Yeah, Rally really can solo dragon too, I'm checking. <laughs> Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, I think we we are too much attacking in team oh. Yeah, oh. I was I should just stay in the back and buff the back or er, buff buff you guys. Yeah. All right, people. Let's hey, turn around. Finally, let's turn around. I have over 200 slides for this tournament, or 150 slides. So we'll do Fong with it. This one's only like 28, maybe 25. Put a level one set up. They kind of do something different every single time, but we're not gonna do it. I thought we could beat anybody, but also lose to anybody. I thought we were definitely better than Fong Vu. So I definitely expected to make it out 100%. We're like a pretty fast to react team. Generally, like when we see what the enemy team is going for, we make a very quick decision on what we're doing. Even though we don't like set up a creative play ourselves, we can see like what's being set up by the enemy team. So based on like practice results, I felt pretty confident against Fong Vu. Internationally, like the difference in mechanical level between the top players is very small. We had a ton of confidence. I had a ton of confidence. We're, we're really a unit, like we're really a team. I think this is my third or fourth planes. I'm not really sure at this point. I don't really mind the planes too much because I think when you play on stage, you realize your weaknesses a lot more. So even though you don't play against the best teams, I think it's beneficial in a way. I mean, there's ups and downs to both, but I'm feeling pretty confident and just excited to play in MSI. I think a lot of people are expecting us, you know, top four or below top four. They smell blood in the water. Palin is next. Team Liquid grabbing two on the backside of that dragon fight. May just run right to the Baron. I think we have a pretty good chance at this tournament. Um, I think it's important that you stay level-headed and you don't underestimate yourself or your opponents. I think that me and my team are the best, even though we are still the underdog in a way. I think we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best teams, and I, th I think it's definitely doable to make it out of groups, and then, you know, we'll take it from there. TL dominate PVB on home soil, and they will qualify for the MSI main stage. I believe in this team, and I think as long as we perform really well, that, you know, we can have a really good showing here internationally. Serious, Jake? Yeah. Is it time to watch Game of Thrones after playing like that? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Of course. You suck. Going in, like taking on stage, you're like screaming. Mm -hmm. On stage, you're. I use all my energy. You're silent. I think it was the pasta plus food before. Maybe. I'm fucking hungry.
think play-ins went okay. I mean, when I was on Cloud9, we struggled a lot in play-ins. Honestly, our practice leading up to the series hasn't been the best just because it's been very limited since we can't really practice against the teams that's in Korea. So we had not the highest quality of scrims, I think. So I think it also kind of just impacted the way we practiced and how we played against Fungo Buffalo. But even though we struggled a bit here, I think it's hard to really play like your very best when your practice hasn't been the best either. So, I mean, I'm just happy we won and I know we have a lot to work on and I'm confident that we can fix the mistakes we made in play-ins. Now that we made it to the main stage and all the other teams are flying into Vietnam, we will have a lot better practice and I think we will be playing a lot better as well. My placement is constant. Really? You lost your placement for it? Yeah. Like the makings of the trophy, and then Colt held the trophy up, and then he just got memed because he lost. Oh, so don't yeah, touch the trophy, guys. Don't touch the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> maybe so, maybe so. Baker is wearing the same sweatpants okay. as me. Really? So oh, basically, you gotta get it right. basically we're the same player. Oh my god. Wait, hey, you happy? I mean, it's, you, can't, you can't settle for me. It's, yeah, it's a little bit of a downgrade, but I'll, I mean, I'll just have to settle for it for now, you know? Can we get the randoms off stage, please? No, do it. Best way I'm looking at Well, enjoy Well. One and go, Jacob. What can I have? One and go, Jacob. Where? Where? Don't want it. I'm good. <laughs> hey, Lily? Huh? Lily? Yeah. Nothing else to do. Is this your actual mouse? Yeah. Oh, really? Check, check. Hello, guys. Hey, so uh, really quickly, this oh, is no. in game lighting. So if you want to take a look and just make sure the stage lighting is okay for you. Okay. Yeah, I mean, as long as I can wear my hat, then the stage lighting doesn't really bother <laughs> me. Because it's pretty sunny in here. They do that. Who do we play on day two? G2, G2 and IG. It's just some shit teams. So free wins on day two. Yeah. And three. I guess we have free wins on like every day actually. Every day. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. We got a lucky schedule. We really did. Five straight days of free win. Yeah. <laughs> We're pretty much ready to go, so I'm gonna call security and get a shuttle up here for you guys. Perfect. We never talk yet. You guys? Oh, no, that's did fine. Did you do it in Ho Chi Minh? Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. yes, we did do it in Ho Chi Minh. You're right, Thor. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, why are we waiting? Yeah, what the what hell? What are we doing here? Let's go. Oh, let's see. What are you doing? Here, right. yeah. I'll put your bag. Yeah. Impact, what are you doing? We don't have water, guys. We need drinking water. Why are you running up with me? That's good. This Thai bed is not bad. What? It's Hanabi. Hanabi or the one Betty. Yeah, we're gonna go Betty. We're not using like a high level. Impact. 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 What? No bananas. Really? Yeah. All I could find was grapes and apples. How possible? I don't know. I have no bananas. Ready? Maybe you put better Jensen, impact without bananas. Jensen, no bananas. I just went and checked all the markets in the area too. Lots. How do they not have bananas? 
Here I have two monkeys, no banana, guys. This is the last they had for today. Can I get one? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Before anyway, you and me. Welcome to opening day of the MSI 2019 group stage here at the National Convention Center in Hanoi. The top six regions of the world have each set their champions to fight for glory in a stacked tournament. And a lot of questions will be answered today as we count down towards the opening games. I think everyone's feeling like this is a tournament where every team is coming in with their chest puffed out with a goal. And that, a lot of these teams are coming in looking to win, but I think everyone is looking to represent favorably. And it just, it's not a tournament where people are already defeated before the tournament starts and Korea is going to win. There's so many different possibilities that can come out of MSI 2019. Look at round three. One, two, three, three. But as we speak, LCS champions Team Liquid and the LMS champions Flash Wolves gear up for our next game. The only two teams returning to the group stage from last year's MSI. I think Team Liquid, you know, very obviously, we're trying to play to what they perceive the 2019 MSI meta was. So while I keep my position, I'm confident in Team Liquid, I can understand withdrawing yourself from NA. Now Flash Wolves are on the retreat. Needs to find the stun. That's Betty locked down. He's got no Flash, remember? First blood picked up by Core JJ. First blood, first dragon, first Rift Herald. And now we get to see what TL can do once they've got this kind of an advantage. They troll, they troll, they troll, they troll, they troll. Come in, come in, come in, come in. They hard troll, they hard troll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goes in. Hanabi completes the TP and. I'm going Galio. They hard troll. We win, we win. Yeah, 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 I know. Let's can go. Shouty's running for his life. Jensen dashes all the way in, waits for the taunt to come out. He turns his attention over to Rather. Rather escapes with his life for now. Burning down from the Ignite. Double up takes the tower. I think the Ignite takes down Rather. That is four members of Flash Wolves down. Perfect team fight from the side of Team Liquid. Team Liquid will take down Flash Wolves to open up MSI groups. Final question you have Uncle Buffalo later as well. What are your expectations? Uh, we're going to stomp them. The war drums clamor, and we're on to Summoner's Rift. Team Liquid versus Fong Fu Buffalo. Jensen looking to make the play happen. It's going to be a two versus two. Nal's going to be taken low, nearly getting himself bursted down. And Smithy gets Team Liquid on the board. One versus four. No stopwatch available, but he's got the backup coming in from Devil. He's going to be taken very low. Big Coral going on a killing spree, finding the kill down. Auto X Smithy impacts able to find himself one on the zero. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Look, no, 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 no,
Oh. Yeah, it's a CD. Oh my god. Hey. Oh my god, that was so bad. Double it. What? Gear. Pack the gear. Mouse pad. Busy. Poor JJ. Everybody pack your shit. We need to go? Yeah, we will try to leave in like 10 minutes. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Come on, guys. I'm watching Flake. Let's go. Despite North America's 2-0 start, today is their first real test here. It feels like this is the perfect combination of everything that North American fans wanted to see, which is just their team playing their style on the international stage. This doesn't appear to be another choking story. All right. Look at on three. One, two, three, three. Look at Caps going in. Hungry oh, for oh, blood, using everything to go and stealing the Oh, 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 oh Caps beautiful. is truly terrifying. A clean execution. Four members are dead. Invictus Gaming are looking for the win. No, there's yeah, it did split. Even they didn't better. We can buy. We can split it. You can't just walk up like, dude, 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 let's check the Like we're gonna die. Baker could find his own second. Gets the third thanks to Clay, and they're just cleaning up now. That's the ace. That's a ton of kills for SKT. Right now we're about to play Flash Wolves. This game is incredibly important based on the current standings. We must win this game. Nexus turrets fall. Nexus under siege. Flash Wolves win. Can any Hunta Bumaga? Like, can cannot defend alone? They got Hunta seizing or Hunta beside us, like, he's seizing alone. Yeah, like, taking, off. taking their turrets alone. Can I go Hamming Wyden that would rise on tape? Then someone has to come help Kenneth, right? Then you, then you guys go to the other side. I remember coming back to mid lane and Corin and Jake were there. Corin was like, Yeah, I remember that. coming back to mid lane and Corin and Jake were there. But if you guys were with me near Impact, we could have gone to their whole blue side. Mm -hmm. You only went right side because you wanted the blue. We didn't really ask yeah, for it. We didn't going down side. You guys were like, we're getting blue. All right, let's go back. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think we're just not really very practiced playing 1-3-1 one one comps that don't win. Hello. Yeah. In game, I don't know what are you guys saying. It's so confused. Go, bike, go, no, go, no, there, here, here, here. You know, it's really confused to everybody. It's, it's obviously we must lose the game. There's no way to win like that. Yeah. Anytime we died in that game, it just felt like we were, we just like either we're blaming each other or not even to, just not talking like about so, it. Sometimes you can say useful stuff like, oh, like I should have done something differently and we'll win the next fight. Like that's actually constructive and positive and helpful. But when we're just straight up arguing and like saying, oh, we shouldn't have done this, this and that, like in like a toxic way, it's, it's not helpful at all. We need a situation when one three on you know if you want your defender, defender check push or something, you poke and that and after bite we bite we can bite, but if we instant bite, we hitting both tank or something and they just keep it around and we, we need to just do first you know you just one beyond and make it listen to chong or something we get advantage and we can bite. We need to make a good condition before we fight. Right. But it is a good condition if you're there like first and you. No, to fight. It, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We cannot yeah. one shot enemy. We, they, they, they have Tom Kenshin. They also have, like. And they have a deep. It was just, Tom it was just a bad fight. fight. Like, yes, it was this, just, this whole argument is yeah. just why I don't think we should play it anymore in the tournament. So I think discussing it is just going to be tilting anyways. Our team strength is that we snowball pretty well when we're ahead and we win team fights. We almost mm. came back against IG because we had a better team fight comp. And we were winning team fights, and they had a team fight comp, so I think that's just why we're good. And we have a really bad time playing 1 3 1. Okay, anyways, guys, tournament's not over. Like, there's still a good chance that we we're gonna go to the knock knockout stage. Let's just not get tilted over this today. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm not hurt, I just won't win. Yeah. But we can still win against any team. We're not winning.
그러니까 사실 MSI 경기 보면은 저희가 첫날에 이제 두 경기 이기고 시작을 했잖아요. 이기고 시작을 했고 그 다음에 연패를 했는데 이제 연패를 했을 때 이제 게임을 보면은 1레벨 게임이 터진다던가 그날에 이제 2레벨 처음에 좀 얼리 게임에 대해서 피드백을 하고 그 다음 날에는 이제 미드 게임에서 터진다던가 뭐 이런 경우가 되게 많았어요. 약간 좀 그룹 스테이지? 그룹 스테이지를 하면서 약간 선수들을 하나하나 배워간 것 같아요. 그냥 레벨 1에서 시작해서 레벨 2, 크랩, 파이트 그 다음에 이제 미드 게임, 그 다음에 레이트 게임까지 그래서 그냥 하루하루 그냥 지는, 지는 거 계속 겪어가면서 그냥 우리 처음부터 약간 얼리 게임부터 미드 게임, 레이트 게임까지 그 다음에 그거 그냥 하나하나 꼽아면서 우리 다음 경기 할 때는 이런 실수하지 말자 뭐 이런 얘기하고 들어왔던 것 같은데 그걸로 결국 게임을 이기고 지고 하는 게 아니다 알지좀더 크게 크게 봐야 된다 So yeah, just look at the game Like look at the bigger picture How are you gonna win as a team, okay? Look at the three! One, two, three! Look at it! Meliodas once again, I'm looking for the flag and drag. The taunt comes in, that holds CoreJJ in place. The Devour Spit does come out, but some of the flash blown by CoreJJ. Oh. What was that damage? Piercing arrow, as well as the tongue lash, and that just absolutely obliterates Pallet. Okay, okay, gonna keep going. Here we go. Let's Let's go. Go. Let's go. Okay, okay, yeah. we're fighting, guys. We're fighting, we're fighting. Yeah. Pallet is in trouble. He may need to use an ultimate to escape. Teleport's coming down. In behind Big Coro. Pallet's already gone down. Big Coro's able to escape away from the chain of corruption, and that's two quick kills. For Team Liquid. Impacts come in from behind. Spell size and Meltem's not available just yet. That's a five man stack! There's the cannon ultimate! Impact goes golden! And he sent Team Liquid up despite the three man shockwave. It's too little! It's too late! Double of turns onto Big Coro. Here comes Jensen! Coro is down! Take a DP bar. I can cancel. I can cancel. Okay, 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 just just me. Me. okay Wait, no, no, no. I'm here, I'm here, this guy. There's an engage in the bottom lane and the top lane. Xeros goes forward, but there's not enough support yet. Finally, Pallet arrives. While that's going on, Big Coro is taking out the top lane. Chain of Corruption starts to spread. Pallet's gonna get locked down as the Cataclysm comes out. Xeros will fall after. It's a double kill for double lift as Jensen picks up a third. Impact got one in the top. Jensen's able to get away. Absolutely beautiful game from Team Liquid. Nor will get locked down, run down, shut down. It's an ace for Team Liquid. They will pick up their third win on the MSI group stage. And for now, Team Liquid takes sole control of fourth place. I think during our losses, we realized we had a lot of problems with the way we were playing the game and we had to change the way we were playing the game. We were playing like pretty slow as a team and it was okay because it seemed like the weaker teams didn't really like punish you too hard or like really know how to snowball the game as well as the other teams so then once we started losing we realized like we have to play faster like we have to be more aggressive and be more willing to like go for stuff even if it could be a bit risky. Yeah I mean we'll, we have to survive early against this they, team. We can fight them if they don't get the perfect engage on me. I can just go the way that we play which is really heavily around fighting over areas of control around the map. It works well against IG because they just fight you no matter what. So like if we get to choose the place, but they're always willing to take us on the fight anyways, even though it was like on our terms, it's, it's pretty bad. We're right on time for our next bout today, Invictus Gaming versus Team Liquid. Team Liquid has never made it out of group stage before. If they really want to start and fulfill some of the long-standing hopes for this team that only strengthened this year, if it could start now, that would be to the rapture of the NA fans. I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm, I'm faster, I'm faster. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm looking for help. I'm looking for help. Uh, okay. I'm going, I'm going, guys. That's it. That's it. That's it. Showing up there now. He's going to be disguised. He's fighting the initiation of Team Liquid. He's able to find so many kills. A double kill over to the top laner. Double is going to clean up one on the Ning as well. And four are dead on the side of Invictus Gaming. I think in group we had close matches against IG. And we basically lost based on like one or two small mistakes. Four for zero there, wiping Doublelift off the map, and they're going to Baron. Liquid not on the same page, and IG hits them with the whole damn book. Invictus Gaming will go 8 0. Our matchup against SKT is definitely what we risk. I feel like SKT just kind of counters everything that we do, and we don't really 
have like a clear win condition against them other than just like level up as a team. North America goes into day five of groups with that all too familiar position. Team Liquid needs a win to control their fate when it comes to the knockout. SKT facing down Team Liquid. The chain is going to connect, has to be careful. Clint is going to move in. Jensen all but set to fall here. Flash over the wall. Clint does not hesitate to follow up. That's going to be first blood. Clint going to grab it with one more auto. Sonic Wave is going to come out. He's going to immediately follow up, but gets a bit closer just to finish it off. Clint grabbing yet another kill. Clint going to get him kicked back. Guaranteed follow up cue. Double lift taken out. No way out of that one. Clint keeps his wits around him. Doesn't even have to flash to make the play happen. Team Liquid just seem defeated in the way they're playing. They do not know where to pick. You said the Alamo already happened, and you can see it in the way that they play. They're backing off now, but SKT still going to look to close out with confidence. Teddy going to grab a kill. Galio into the back line, powered up by the Lee Sin. Double it's immediately deleted. It is an absolute slaughter in the base of TL. The triple for Teddy going to look to make it a quadra. Pulling through in the end. SKT from start to finish have dominated this game. For TL, they now have only one more chance to get a win here. They're hoping that people are going to do them a favor and clean up against Flash Wolves to avoid a potential tiebreaker. We just need like. Well, it's too obvious if we're not doing now. Because my lane, my lane time is going to top side, right? Yeah, and yeah. I'm pushing. I, I have to go through mid with the guys too. Or I have to go bot with the guys, but. Okay. I, so. I don't have ulti, so. I think you don't have ulti, it doesn't matter if we're looking dead. I think yeah. let's focus on the next, next, next game. game. Next game against G2. Okay. Actually, Flash Wolves has to win against uh, IG. Yeah. But if they. If, if, if uh, PVB wins against uh, Flash Wolves, we're in. Yeah. 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 Alright. Wanna run to the Candles game? Yeah, Yankos might not have expected the stakes to be as high as they now are for Game 4 here at MSI Group Stage. They have compounded exponentially for both Team Liquid and G2 Esports here. TL ultimately have Destiny in their own hand. Even if they lose this, they still have the tiebreaker. But you would like to get through to semifinals with some streakiness of success because for any chance going up against this Invictus Gaming lineup, you need some consistency. Let's go, guys. Bet we come in. Yep. Oh, Dangerous. that's a oh. great back and forth. First blood picked up by Xmitty in the 2v2. Now Smithy's running from his life. Yankos gets the furious fight, but no reply. <laughs> Xmitty and Jensen working together to shut down Caps. Oh, he just flashed it on me? The 12 and a half minute mark, that bottom tower is going for oh. Jensen. Oh, oh my god, nice. Kill onto Caps. Hey, Rex, I here? Oh, let's see. Yeah, it's my side. Chunk team to get down. Oh man, Yankos is already gone. Xmitty's found him, double if dunked him. That's yet another kill. Five on the board, four of which Xmithy's been involved in. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm look. looking at this. I didn't get a pick here too, guys. You can see how far back G2 are putting Oh, no five. way. Xmithy solo kills Caps. Got him. Nice, nice. 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 Moving up mid yeah. now. Yeah. I'm gonna ult here. Yeah, yeah, you can't yeah, wait. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. There goes Xmithy. Yeah, comes double if his killer instinct did. That's the first kill on top perks. Impact will be finishing us up. That's a triple for double. He's looking for the Quadra. Maybe a Penta. Double lift and Team Liquid advance to the semi-finals, eliminating G2. This game, extremely proactive from minute one, everywhere on the map, and they make opportunities. This is the Team Liquid <laughs> that has to show up in BO5. Good job. Really happy, but also Same record as last year, make it out. Really? Four six, yeah. That's true. That's not true. Well, now, like, you guys have interviews and whatnot, and then we'll go back. Let's go eat. Yeah, let's go eat and take a rest. Take a rest, and then we'll Let's take a vacation. <laughs> yeah. yeah the thing is, IG, let's just enjoy Taipei. Yeah. <laughs> let's just enjoy Taipei. No, Taipan. wait, you way rather play, I'd way rather play against IG than SKT. Yeah. SKT feels like unbeatable. Actually, yeah, IG can throw a lot. Yeah, <laughs> IG, both of our games were really close. If you, yeah. no, if you guys just don't play scared against IG, we can win. Yeah, uh, this is so like yeah. game. Why didn't we say yes to all these f***ing interviews? <clears throat> because you just won and it was history and people want to cover it? Well, it's uh, uh, garbage. Yeah, well, I remember back in the day when you realized like how you media coverage. You were like, oh yeah, sure, let's go. But that was a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Well, it's day five of MSI Group Stage with coverage brought to you by Alienware. I'm joined right now by Doublelift, who has uh, had a, an eventful day. Let's talk about how things are going uh, for you. This has got to feel pretty good. Yeah, it feels really good, obviously. like. It's a curse that I kind of can finally put down forever. And uh, 
every moment that I've had where like I threw the game when I was Lucian against like Samsung's Victor or like we played the tiebreaker against Fnatic and we lost or we lost the tiebreaker against Misfits and like all these moments where like I was just one game away from making it out. I, how many more times did I have? Like how many more chances was I willing to go through? Like failures was I willing to go through to finally get here? I don't know. Like maybe, maybe this was like the last straw or something. So I kind of just had to win. Back then, I was gonna be the best player to never win anything. That was the joke. To me, maybe the community had set up this goalpost of making it out of groups, and I bought into it, but it should never be that. Your fans will never be happy with you if you just make it out of groups. That's not enough. It's never enough. Like, you have to be the best. No one remembers fourth place. Well, actually, we'll team look good. Hey, but, you know, that's true. Like, if I lose now, no one will remember us. So, gotta go all the way. No one's gonna predict TL. No, I mean uh, IG. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, but we can at least talk about let's let's not the, bad man. the possibilities of the series. I can't shake the feeling that IG doesn't care yet. This is a team that is currently playing with their food a little bit and is going to ramp up. It, it oh. went 9-1. Oh, we discussed on the team that we could win even if there was a dog at my spot in the keyboard. Yeah. I have a narrow win condition for NA. Does anyone think TL is going to get a game? I would be ecstatic if Team Liquid take one game off of Invictus game. They 3 0 the World Finals. They've dominated here, dropping only a single game in all of groups. In Invictus Gaming is the team in the world to beat. You take a game off, success. You can't wear hats on stage. No, 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 not allowed. I think everyone had a pretty good inkling that we were going to win. I felt that IG's playstyle against us were like we had a, a better advantage than pretty much any other team in the MSI. So I feel like we had a really good chance and just like our practice and just the way we studied them, like I felt like we had a really big chance. Yeah. All right, whatever. I guess I this is what I'm doing. I'm done. I'm going to turn up my videos now. Jesus. You got it. What else do we need? Okay. Oh. Play the representative from the LPL IG. This is my win conditions versus these guys. Uh, we need a win or contest mid 2v2. We should play through bottom lane and break it open from mid to bot, ideally, if possible. And then we have to be willing to out team fight them in winning conditions. Oh, we group stage and we're going to have one or feedback. Yeah, like these are all feedbacks that we, uh, that we gave you guys. 
during like the group stages, right? After our games. 그러니까 너네가 이거 다할줄 아는 거니까 그냥 어렵게 생각하지 말고 중간에 그냥 편안하게 그냥 하면 된다, 알았지? Because uh, you guys know all the answers. You guys know what to do. So you guys don't try to complicate things, but just uh, it's just gonna be natural. Just think naturally and just play comfortable. I'd say the best. Would be to play Zyra Khan or just to play one of the stronger bot lanes that we've been practicing. Uh, we can huddle up, guys, and go to stage. Huddle up, so maybe like five minutes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's the best. Alright. It is for today. Yeah. Take it Alright. You're gonna be first. And it's really important you land your first position. You know? We're gonna cross here. The only thing I'm worried about is. Come on, come on, come This is going to be a difficult best of five for Team Liquid. Yeah, exactly right. Going up against the current world champions, a team that is setting records, speed running through the MSI group so far. They dropped one game the entire group stage. This is a team that can beat you in so many ways. <laughs> Guys, enjoy the game, okay? Uh-huh. Enjoy. Have some fun. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on to Summoner's Rift for the first semi-final match of MSI 2019. Team Liquid versus Invictus Gaming, IG in the blue, TL in the red. We can win, guys. Thinking back, does get stunned, he's dead. Stunned up, flash into the kick, and there's your first blood. Invictus Gaming get themselves on the board. The kick, the kick. I'm tipping, I'm tipping, I'm tipping, I'm tipping, I'm tipping, I'm tipping, I'm tipping. TL, they really want to make a play out of this one. Jensen showing up, Realm Warp's going to be coming out. Jensen going right back in. They're going to be using the Realm Warp to get behind them. Invictus Gaming trying to get Ning away. He's going to be taken down. The Shine Out could be the next target. Impact sidestepping away from the overload. He's going to stay alive, too, and it is a two for zero. Jensen goes up, stop as Smithy swoops in. Flash out by the shot, keeping himself alive against the Cataclysm as Jackie and Rookie make their way in. Oh, Beautiful two-man stun from Rookie. Double lift taken out, Smithy is as well. And IG strike back. TL getting themselves away now. Core JJ gonna be taken very low. Smithy also now gonna be killed as Impact gets over the wall, but will he even escape? The Pop Blossom keeps him alive, but Jackie seals his fate. For the initiation there, turn around. Jackie left his stun. Jensen's going right back in, but it's only into his death. He is shut down by Ning, and with him out of the picture, IG is free to continue pushing up. Core JJ is now gonna find himself caught out. Double a kick back into the team, and Team Liquid is eviscerated. <laughs> So free. Yeah. IG continuing this push. They've got 30 seconds left on Baron. Difficult time defending, and then here we go. Pop Blossom takes Ning down. It's IG on the run. A double kill over the impact. Balon's also going to fall as expected. Yes. Two. IG now in four. Yes. The shot's going to be caught. There's your stun you're looking for. A shutdown for Jensen. And Team Liquid go four for one. Baron taken very low, taken down. Remember, Elder Dragon's not like a Baron. This is one big loot pinata with wings. Team Liquid securing this one. IG no contest. And TL have double Uber box. Yeah. Still gonna be staying safe In the now. game. Cannon minions doing the work under the tier three. Gonna be taking it very low, gonna be taking it down. There goes your on the hunt. IG on the retreat. Rookie's already gonna be killed. And Team Liquid has found the IG mid later. Jensen's on a killing spree. Bellon's the next target. Jensen takes him down as well. Double pump the cleanse, keep himself alive now. Two here into the back line. And Smithy will continue pushing forward. One Nexus turn is gone. The Invictus Gaming Juggler is gone. Double lift is dominating. Double lift's got a double kill. And Team Liquid strike first. It's, a, it's about finding one guy and and chain CCing that guy. Because they play like crazy style, no front line. So we just need to find the right time to all go in on the same place. The more we played them, the more we realized that countering their place is like a really important factor in the game. We have to think about what their plan is and then if we counter it, we pretty much have a really big lead off of it. And when we snowballing that lead, everyone played really well and we just team fighted better than them.
you guys gotta keep doing that. Push, move, push, move, help me. Yeah. If you guys can. Yeah, if I can, yeah. Okay, that's it, guys. Yeah. You can beat these guys. Great first hammer. I, 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 Good I, job, guys. I think, yeah. This wasn't the game plan. Everyone will remember that last game, very up and down though. Everything needs to be wiped clean though. Game number two, starting fresh. Uh, I think I just go Bane. Va Varus is not that good. Oh, Bane. Yeah. Oh, Bane looks not bad. Sure. Nice. Holy moly. I'm pumped now. I have good boy, Sean. They want to start, guys. Yeah, I can do I can do Hey, yeah. come. Okay. Ready, ready? Ready? Yeah, ready. Go, go, go. I'm Team Liquid not willing to let him walk away with the core JJ going in. Able to knock Valon back into the rest of Team Liquid. Gonna be taking him down rather quickly. They coming right back into the Team Liquid lines. Core JJ now gonna be the target. The Shy not able to find anything with his pop blossom either. Impact grabs the kill on the Ning. Now it's gonna be the Shy in some trouble. Team Liquid still working in the mountain strength. Still securing it. They've taken the objective. Rookie in the Shy coming in from the side. This could be big from the Shy. Oh! He's in some trouble. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hey, cut that side. Okay. 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 Ok
spots. Here comes that enemy jungler. Ninx not able to find the kill. Hits it as Belwan now having to make the save. Everybody's coming in from both sides. A double kill over to Jensen. It's about to be three. They're gonna put the catch back on the bench, but the follow up is there. Core JJ channels the taunt, and Jackie can't resist. Double up goes on a killing spree as Team Liquid look for even more. And reset a little bit there. Rookie will say thanks for the leash, boys, but ultimately, Balon, what are you doing, Ning? Where are you at? IG teleports themselves right on top of Team Liquid, only to be counterattacked instantly. One more auto attack seals the deal. A double over to Xpithy. Jackie loves your next target. More damage coming through. Xpithy seals his fate. A triple for the Scorner. Jensen flashes over the wall, he's gonna survive, impact is here, Nick Smith, he's gonna get the stun! Rookie in some trouble, he tries to stay alive, he's almost able to outplay Nick Smith, but not quite yet, the damage isn't there! Balon, the last remaining member of Invictus Gaming, and Team Liquid finds their ace! I thought I would never say it again, but I never doubted them! Team Liquid allowing the minions to push up and do their thing. Nexus turret number one, almost gonna be taken down. Nice pull! Dolan goes legendary. Impact will not find anybody there with the cannon ultimate. IG are now on a four versus five. Victor ultimate gonna be keeping Core JJ away. Redemption coming down, keeping everybody topped off. Still looking to maybe find this fight. Xpithy's gonna be put to sleep. The Jackie's gonna be pulling around. Dolan goes legendary. Ladies and gentlemen, Team Liquid will do it. Haters, be silent. Expectations, be damned. Well, actually, I think on stage, like, it feels amazing to win, but I didn't really think of, like, the gravity of the situation. Like, oh my god, we just won against IG, like, the former world champions, like, and no one predicted us to win. I only actually thought about that at all afterwards when, like, people were interviewing me and, like, I went on Reddit and, like, I went on Twitter and there was just, like, so much. And I was like, oh, well, I guess that was, like, really insane, but, like, to me, it was kind of like a given that we would win. I, I never made it out of groups previously, so it's, it's a pretty big step to just not only make it out, but like make it to the finals. That's especially in that manner, like winning against the former world champs. That's pretty crazy. When we watched G2 versus SKT, I think there was like two ways to approach it, which was, wow, both of them are playing really well and it was a really close series. Or both of them are playing really bad and there's a lot of uncharacteristic mistakes. I wanted SKT to win because I just wanted to have a rematch of the last MSI Grand Finals I had. It was against also against SKT. When I watched that series, I was like, they're both really, really good. And I, ne I never would have guessed that G2 would win like that since SKT plays such a solid, like such a clean game. I think we all wanted to play against G2 because G2's like playstyle is kind of like IG, but more calculated and less risky. So we wanted to play against G2. And yeah, I think everyone thought that we had a really big shot in winning the whole thing. So everyone was really excited. I Welcome to the finals of the 2019 Mid-Season Invitational. And who would have believed it was North America's Team Liquid versus Europe's G2 Esports. 
Not only have they subverted expectations, but they have done it in such an exciting manner that makes people coming into this finals legitimately excited for either side to win. Getting the ball rolling early on in the game is so important for our team. When the, if the enemy team gets the ball rolling before we do, it's really hard to win. They don't make too many mistakes and it just snowballs out of control. G2 Esports in commanding fashion will take game one of the 2019 MSI Finals. I think we were just really hesitant. Our team doesn't have the tools to play against G2 in a really like fair way. And I think part of it is our shaman pools are not nearly as big as theirs. And so they have the ability to play everything, which is really, really hard to play against. Sub 30 minute win, and they are a single game away from your first ever MSI trophy. Yeah. We were just running straight to mid lane instead of controlling their jungle. We just couldn't figure out how to win against them. Like maybe, maybe draft, maybe our play, might be our team fight. We didn't really know. We just we weren't, like, weren't really confident on our plays, and it really showed so. That's a big stun! That's a big engage! Oh my gosh, look at the fight! They look for kill number four. This might be an ace inside of the base. This is what peak League of Legends looks like, and it comes from Europe. A world record. G2 Esports 3-0 will win MSI 2019. The only thing obviously that sucks is that we just couldn't show our strength on the stage, like how strong we were. 어쨌든 간에 뭐 이거 끝난다고 해서 졌다고 해서 끝나는 건 아니야. 작년 월드에서 말했지만 끝나는 건 아니야, 그지? Yeah, and because, because we just lost the MSI finals, it doesn't change anything, right? Like our goal, like it doesn't change anything, right? Like 올해 just, 올해 또 계속 우리 대회 할 거고. Like we still have so much play left. Worlds. 높은 찬스로 또 월드 나갈 거야. Yeah, and there's a high chance that we're gonna play in Worlds again. So that's it, guys. Yeah, that's it. Anyways, you guys, good job for the last three weeks, right? Mm -hmm. Like, like probably, probably a month. Like it was a long run. Like we didn't expect to like be IG. But like we played well, we showed how good we were, and then you guys definitely should feel like uh, you improved, like as a team as well. Obviously, we couldn't show it today, which sucks. But just take this experience, and then let's remember it, and then let's go into summer, summer in like two weeks. <laughs> I did appreciate that we didn't go over any specifics about the game. It just obviously was good to just get some closure about like, it sucks to lose like this. We never want to lose, but to lose like this feels especially bad. And you know, everyone has a lot of regrets, but I think just like learned a lot. I was just trying to get everyone's hopes up for the future because there's no point to just like be miserable about the loss. It's, it's, it's already over. We have learned more in MSI than any other split that we've played, so just maybe champion pool or just like how we play early game and how confidently we should play with each other. I think it's gonna impact us a lot going to summer split. Throughout the tournament, like we started doing a lot of stuff that we'd never done before. And even stuff that like other, there's no way that other teams were thinking about at the time. That's something that like we had a lot of pride in was just like developing ourselves really quickly and like in unexpected ways. Obviously, like our team can't do a 180 transformation in like a couple weeks, but I think we made a lot of good progress and we learned the value in doing the unexpected a lot more. Only one team can really 
be happy in the end. So next time we can be the happy team.